Hey, what's up? Back in the old homestead here in Sparks, Nevada. And it's funny, I was driving up here and Rocket tells me that a lot of people, they ask where she lives and she says Sparks and they, they say, what, what part? And she says Spanish Springs. And they go, oh, you live in the, in the ritzy part of town. <laughs> I don't know, it's not all that ritzy to me, and I'm far from having a McMansion or anything, but I just find it funny, and it reminded me of some of the people I listen to talking about these wannabe gurus who are talking about how they're living the life, and they're talking about all this wealth they have or whatever, and, no, and the truth is they're living in these third world countries that where you can live very well for like six bucks a day <laughs> and they're trying to play it like they're they're living large it's just really funny that people take that that view you know you want the status you want the money you want to live in a nice place and i don't know do they still call them posers that's what we used to call them people that uh that are pretending you know they're posers they Oh, I'm, I'm all this and all that. They, they spend all their money on a car and live in a shack <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, to me, it's a funny, it's a funny situation how people look at things. And I think that I just really don't care that much about, not just about having all the pretentious stuff, but broadcasting it out to me. You're just going to make yourself a target. If someone sees that you're driving a nice car, you're whipping out a lot of money at the at the mall or something, then you just become a target. You had a target painted on your back. Uh, for instance, online gurus talk about all the money they make. And I imagine there are lawyers out there just waiting for someone. And sure enough, I've seen the companies get taken down where uh, they have a class action lawsuit where... These people are claiming that, oh, this guy said that I can make a bunch of money doing this or that, and I, I bought it, but I'm not rich. And come to find out, their argument is, well, the person said it was going to be so easy to make money or whatever, and then they wouldn't give people their money back. And it clearly stated in their, in their guarantee or refund policy that you have to take specific actions in order to get a refund for instance you buy something and you never open it and it's sitting there on a shelf and you you never do anything with it then what's your complaint whether you bought it and it didn't a genie didn't pop out of it and all of a sudden bestow great riches upon you and your family simply because you knew how to fill out an order form on the internet it doesn't make any sense to me but that's what happens so i guess right now i'm just thinking if you are gonna buy something online it's a course on how to do this or that or you know, whatever it is and they're claiming you can make a bunch of money doing it understand that it's written by guys like me and maybe you that your their purpose is to sell these things and while they might not be lying they're certainly going to paint things in the best possible light and of course they're going to say it's so easy a child could do it and you're, you're almost guaranteed to make a bunch of money but the truth of the matter is there's always more to whatever you're looking at than the person who is selling it is leading it leading it on to be so my advice is if you're going to buy something a course or whatever look at it and say okay i'm going to buy this but make an investment don't just buy it and then it's something you have if you look at it as an investment it's something that you're going to follow and you're going to take the steps that it tells you to take and you're going to persist at it and you're going to keep doing it until you learn it and make it work for you if you have any other attitude like you expect it to do something for you you're never going to make it because that stuff doesn't work like that that's all i got for today i'll talk to you tomorrow i'm out